The battle against gentrification is being fought in many Toronto neighbourhoods, but here in Parkdale, residents are fighting back in an innovative way, identifying buildings at risk of being sold off and with the help of private investors, putting money in the game to maintain them. According to a 2017 study by the Parkdale Neighborhood Land Trust, over the past decade, 28 rooming houses in Parkdale have been sold off in the open market, displacing at least 350 people. To stop more affordable rental buildings from being lost, the Land Trust has launched the new Preserve and Protect Guarantee Program, which will allow them to quickly acquire at-risk buildings as they come onto the market. What this will allow us to do is to intervene in the private market system that sees low-income rental housing sold to the highest bidder, and then low-income tenants slowly pushed out, often into homelessness. We want to make sure that low-income tenants can stay in their housing, especially in this pandemic. The program is funded by private investors, charitable foundations who have so far invested over $4 million. The Land Trust has partnered with BC-based Van City Community Investment Bank, which specializes in social causes to make it happen. They were one of our first um, organizations that we thought what they were trying to do was really impactful to the community. And so we worked with them to make sure that they got some financing to do their first acquisition. That first acquisition was a pilot project with the City of Toronto, where the city kicked in $1.5 million in funding to help the Land Trust acquire a rooming house on Maynard Avenue. It was such a success, City Councillor Gord Perk says that model is now being rolled out across the city. This is a tiny little step that we piloted here in Parkdale, and which we're going to now roll out for the whole city. My hope is that uh, it actually becomes a cornerstone part of how we do housing in the city of Toronto. Right now, Barnt says there are 18 bachelorette and rooming house buildings up for sale in Parkdale. He says the land trust is in talks with the owners, trying to negotiate a fair deal. He says all of this is only possible with the funds provided by investors. They are hoping to raise $8 million to save affordable housing and are asking for additional help. In Parkdale, Erica Nativi, Dad, City News.